mid-April. Check out all that greenery behind me. Summertime's coming. Today, high 72, low of 58. Cloudy, little misty showers here and there, but nothing to be concerned with because why? If it ain't raining, we ain't raining. All right, let's go over to our spot, talk about our shelter system, and address a few concerns. Okay, so here we are. And I'm thinking we do a dugout shelter. Something I haven't done in a while. Yes, we've dug before, but not a necessarily a dugout shelter or a natural dugout shelter. For that, I'm thinking we go with an oval, kind of like a cigar shape. Nothing deep, 18 inches, maximum two foot. Use that dirt for a berm around that oval. Then, Y branch in the front, Y branch in the back. Ridge pole, somewhat of an A-frame skeletal shape and we finish that bad boy off with a grass thatched roof i think it'll look badass one two three four five six and a half number one he's out there cutting logs he's wasting too much calories he's cutting an additional three inches off just put him in there well Here's my logic behind this. If it looks like crap, smells like crap, tastes like crap, then it's crap. I'm gonna do everything I can to the best of my ability. My question for you is, at your house, trailer, RV, hotel you stay at, are there two by fours jutting out of the walls and ceiling? Hmm. Concern number two. When you go camping, you bring the entire grocery store, LOLs. Well, here's my question. When you go camping, do you eat? Hmm. Everyone deserves their 15 seconds of fame. And you know me, I'm always keeping my audience riveted or triggered. I want to compact this berm around here and create three walls. This way if it starts to rain, everything on, from here and here will go around that berm out the back. Now the front is actually higher. Adding a small trench towards the front will channel that water past that berm and also push that water that way, keeping me dry. So the chances of that's gonna become a bathtub, LOLs, has just been debunked. Boom. Perfect.
Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm taking my handfuls of dead grass, bend it to a U shape, and I'm going to place it around my horizontal, and then secure it off with an arbor knot. And it sort of shingles it from the bottom up, just like a roof. A lot of work for an overnighter. All right, now I've shown this probably a hundred times, but I still get questions. What's an arbor knot? How do we tie it? You move too fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you step-by-step step how to create an arbor knot, which is what I use for probably 90% of my lashings. And it's my go-to knot, the one knot to rule them all. I'm out there roaming around looking for some more grass and I found this stuff here that's almost like straw. And to be honest, if I was gonna make a mat, a grass mat, this is exactly what I'd want. So, change of plans. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna bend this to where it's more towards the top. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drape it over top of this rung right here. and then spread it out. We have a horizontal here and a horizontal here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one stock and I'm gonna place it right here and then simply just tie it to that horizontal. It's gonna keep this section down and then we'll come down here and do it again down here. We'll give it that grass hut look. It's not necessarily a thatched roof because that's a whole nother process, but It'd be a grass roof and I'll take it. All right, so the shelter's complete. Now a small shelter like that deserves a small fire. And here's the deal, we have a grass roof. I don't need a 10 foot high flame coming off there dancing around and embers and sparks going over there and then lighting that roof on fire. And I'm sleeping inside some gigantic tinder bundle. So I'm thinking a Dakota fire hole. Now we did it a couple videos ago. It's very simple. It's so simple it should be illegal and probably is on the West Coast, just saying. All we're gonna do is we're gonna 
dig a hole 12 inch diameter by 12 inches deep. Move over eight inches or so, maybe a foot, six inch diameter hole, 12 inches deep. And now for the final step, make like my boy El Chapo and tunnel through. Let's go ahead and pause for a minute. All the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found at Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Alright, so the Dakota fire hole is complete. Time to start cooking. But first I want to go ahead and make some way to support or suspend a bush pot over that fire. And to do that I want to make a tripod. So I'm going to go ahead and get three pieces of wood and make a tripod lash. And to do that I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of cordage and form a loop using a fisherman's knot.
Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. And that right there are bacon breakfast bombs. Recipe courtesy of my boy, Kevin Baxter, the camp master of the Pathfinder School, or better known as Salty Dog Outdoors on YouTube. Check him out, Salty Dog Outdoors. All right, so we have our bacon breakfast bombs. Fried egg and bacon. Oh my God, that is outstanding. I need about 50 of these. Some seasoned salt. Oh man, mm. get you on the map. Okay, so first order business, last week's video. It was a part four to the tree fort. It was not titled part four. It was titled solo overnight building a tree fort in the woods. And here's what happened. One hour after it was posted, I was watching the analytics and it did this. It was shut down. Now people are gonna say, it wasn't shut down. I saw it, it was right there. Shut down means the notifications stopped going out. They stopped going out to subscribers and they stopped putting it in your feed. As a result of that, the video bombed. It was rated worst 10 of 10 and basically it is what it is. So there's nothing I can do about it. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Solo Overnight Building a Tree Fort in the Woods. It's part four and the final episode of that series. So feel free to check it out. Clouds are all gone. Be a nice night. The one thing I need to figure out is how to get a better lens for that camera so you can check out these stars. Um, that Olympus OMD Mark II or V or whatever it is. Um, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Get like a time lapse and see it like spin or whatever and move around. Gotta figure that out. We'll talk about this shelter tomorrow. This is the first time I've actually used this. Never did grass before, and let me tell you what, my sinuses are killing me. Be going home, popping some Claritins, you know, like, I don't know, something, because this is killer. Um, but I'm liking this. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Um, it's a dugout grass shelter in the woods. So it's kind of cool, something different, something I haven't done before. Um, so looking forward to getting inside here. But first, to my legions. Thank you. Always thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Watch my videos. Watch them all the way to the end. Share my videos with everyone, everywhere. This last video, failure. Um, YouTube punished me by removing me from some of your feeds. I apologize for that. Get me back. Show YouTube you want Corporal's Corner. Wait till my video ends. Check out the recommended playlist. Find my next video. Play that bad boy, play it all the way to the end. Find a playlist, play that too. Keep me in that feed and I'll keep giving you Corporal's Corner. I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, so here we are, we're inside of the shelter. It's like being inside the straw man from Wizard of Oz. That doesn't sound right, but I mean, check it out. There's our ceiling right there. Um, my feet can move around freely, so I'm happy with that. My first time doing this, but overall, I learned a lot and 
I also learned that my sinuses do not like dry grass. So, um, side note there, but yeah. I'm liking this though, I'm digging it. Literally. Well, it's about that time. Got a nice view of the fire, so I'm gonna enjoy my fire. I'll catch you all in the morning. A little bit uh, drizzly out. Uh, time to make like Thulsa Doom and slither on out. Oh man. Uh. Death Wish Coffee. <sighs> the highest percentage of caffeine content in coffee that you can legally buy. And it must be good for you because if you're dead, you can't buy their products. I mean, what kind of marketing plan is that? Just saying. Let's go ahead and talk about this shelter. All right, so what do we do here? We started with a dugout shelter. Went ahead from there, compacted our walls around it, then added our logs for our bedding, keep us out of the mud. From that point, we went ahead and made a skeletal structure and then covered it with dry grasses. A combination, there's two different types here, and the second type that we found actually worked out really well. It started to drizzle last night, and the inside is bone dry. Now, if this were real and I had access to four or five times the amount of grass, I'd want this thing probably about a foot thick to guarantee it's gonna shed that rain. Um, other than that, I'm happy. First time doing this, and it came out well. Nice little dugout grass shelter in the woods. More to come. And there you go, solo overnight building a dugout grass shelter in the woods. Once again, did it with a minimum kit, and we had fun doing it. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.